Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Mountain Hardware Hunker Assault Tent. This tent was made for Navy SEALs by, of course, Mountain Hardware. And today we just happen to get one in. So you know what? We're going to tear open in this box. We're going to look at the different components and aspects to it. We're going to set it up. And basically, we're just going to, you know, give our first impressions of it. It's a preview. You know, so... Uh, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, you guys grab one too, we'll get started. Before we even get started, I want to apologize for the poor lighting. It is what it is, folks. Right now there's a little bit of a cold front that's coming through, so it's super windy. If I was to do this outside, you guys wouldn't even be able to hear me. You know, what do you do? There you go. So, I got my coffee, hopefully you guys got yours, let's tear into this box. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and open up this box, see what we're working with. Here's the tin itself. It says Hunker 1 Military Coyote Brown. Hmm. It's not too, too heavy. This comes in about four and a half pounds with every single thing. Repair kit, all the bags, blah, 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 blah. Here's the a sticker from the company that I purchased it from, skd.com. It says no foreplay, no reach around, no cuddling. Point, click, ship, boom. <laughs> All right. Here's another sticker, and it says explosions, check. Chuck Norris, check. Boobies, check. America, check. <laughs> All right. That's cool. And, of course, here's the bill of sale. Mountain Hardware Hunker Four Season Military Tent. I, and I got this for 480 bucks. So, there you go. Here's the actual tent itself. It's actually smaller than I expected, to be honest. Especially for four season tents. This is pretty small. We might as well open this up now. Okay. Here's the storage bag. We'll just set that to the side. Here are the stakes. Here are the poles. And of course, here's the tent. And we'll set that up here in just a moment. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the stakes. My God. They definitely send a lot of them. Let's see here. There's 12 stakes right here. Good grief. Wow. Take a look at the poles. This tent does have three poles, as you can see right here. And these are DAC aluminum. All right. So before you guys are all the components. You have the stuff sack for the entire tent. You have the stakes with its little bag. You have three poles, their stuff sack, and the actual tent itself. We'll go ahead and actually get this set up. Okay, here we go. I have no idea how this is supposed to set up, so we'll just have to play it by ear here, folks. There are no instructions with this tent. It does look like there are sleeves for the poles to go in. That will make it easier. And this is the porch. Okay. Now we'll move to the poles. There's one pole. Slight curves on both ends. Okay, another pole. Basically exactly the same as the other one. Now this pole seems bigger than the others. And it is very, very long. So the question is, where exactly does that thing go? Good God. That thing is huge. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yeah, for one pole, two pole. Okay. I can only guess exactly how this goes. 
We'll see if I'm right at the end. Put it in the tabs on each end. Now that I know that I have the big pole in the right place, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it just so it can lay flat. It'll make putting in the rest of the poles a whole lot easier. All right, we have the second pole in. Now it's time for our third one. And then we'll erect this tent. Alright guys, we are now ready to go ahead and erect this tent. Okay, so here we go. The whole tent is coming online now. Alright guys, she is set up. It is a freestanding tent as you can tell. Here's the porch. And basically, you can stick this out so it's just like this, or you can connect it to another one of these tents, which is pretty dang sweet. We'll go ahead and roll this up. Overall, very simple to set up. Logic really tells you where those poles go. Since two poles are the same size and one is longer, you would figure that the two smaller poles would be opposite of each other, so on and so forth. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Interesting, very, very interesting. All right, guys, we're now walking around this tent so you guys can take a look at it. As you can see, it's a very small tent, has a very low profile. Here's the front. It is three poles, big pole across the middle, two smaller poles opposite of each other that meet in the back like so. Plenty of guideline, guy lines off of every single corner, as you can see here, here's this side. Another guy line here, and also another sort of entrance, but I'll show you that from the inside. I went ahead and I rolled up the porch, I guess you can call it, and you could see here that it actually has buckles that buckle in here, in the middle, as well as this side. When you have another one of these tents, you can connect those two porches by those buckles, which is pretty awesome. You do have the mesh wall, which can be independent from the other wall, which is pretty good. I just have it cinched up right here. And this is what the inside of this tent looks like. You have a pocket right there. You have the other entrance right here. I'll go ahead and hop in here, give you an idea of just how big this thing is. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop my feet down all the way to the wall and see how much space we got left. And I'm 5'4", there's easily over a foot of more clearance, so this is made to fit anybody in general. I mean, if you're 6'12", or something, then I don't think this is right. But if you're 6 foot whatever, 5 foot whatever, there's plenty of room in here. Also, I can easily tell that there's plenty of room to have your gear in here. I can keep it above my head, down to my feet, on this side over here. I tell you what, I'm impressed. I really like it. Looks like it's very sturdy material. It's definitely thicker than most like ripstop nylons. What this material is, guys, I honestly don't know. Um, I have contacted Mountain Hardware, and so far it's been three days and they have not gotten back to me. I have to admit, I'm not impressed with their customer support at all. I'm very unimpressed, actually. So, we'll see. We'll see if I can't get some more information about this. And as soon as I do, I'll definitely pass it on to you guys. You do have a couple of 
fabric clips in here so you can maybe attach a light, whatever you want to. You have some ventilation pockets on both sides. Come on inside guys, let me show you around a little bit. Again, I apologize for the poor lighting. It is what it is. Here in this corner, you have ventilation that you could set up. It has a little pole right here. The same goes in this corner. You have a little pole that you can put in there. Attaches. Now check this out. This is definitely very interesting. You have this interesting little door. It would be nice if this was actually mesh so you can allow that airflow to come through. In the future, if I'm using this in the summer months, you know, I may think about adding some sort of mesh to it, maybe putting some Velcro around this, just so you can attach that. Eh, we'll see. But um, an interesting feature. I guess you can lay down here and do surveillance. Who knows? Pretty cool little feature though. Definitely haven't seen that before. Now, as mentioned, I am 5'4", and I can just barely sit up. My, I mean, if I, if I was to go 90 degrees, my head, it wouldn't work. It's too low. But, you know, there's plenty of room in here to change clothes if you had to. You could sit up in it and change clothes, but you could definitely lean up somewhat, you know? Hmm. Overall, guys, I like it. Well, there you have it. There's the unboxing and setup of the Mountain Hardware Hunker 1 Assault Tent. Like I said before, this is about four and a half pounds. This was developed for Navy SEALs. I have no idea what the material is. It's some sort of nylon. But um, until Mountain Hardware contacts me, I don't know for sure. Hopefully they'll get around to that fairly soon. Overall, I'm really impressed with the quality. I'm impressed that they actually gave us 12 stakes. Most tents don't, companies don't do that. Um, plenty of guy lines, a lot of cordage. Um, I actually like these buckles that hold up this porch. And also, I'm really, really interested in testing this little porch out. That is going to be interesting for sure. Overall setup was fairly easy. Basic common sense basically told me how to set it up, which is pretty good. It is freestanding, big plus. It's also low profile, so that will help shed wind. It is snow bearing. We'll test that out later in the future. Also, the quality seems very, very good. I can tell already that the inside seams are sealed. They're taped. Guys, thank you very much for joining me for this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. If you have any questions concerning this tent, the Mountain Hardware Hunker 1, drop me a line and please let me know. Of course, guys, make sure to check out our Facebook page, The Outdoor Gear Review, and our website, theoutdoorgearreview.com. Everyone, be well.